Fake news. <laughs> yep, got you to click on the video, didn't it? Um, fake news is real. And and I'm going to get cranking this morning in the Wealth and Real Estate Facebook group just by uh, talking about this fake news and how to use it. Um, yep, successfully got you to click on the video with the title. <laughs> Working on that, that copy, right? But we're going to talk about fake news and how to use it. Um, I got a truth for you this morning. What you see on social media is not real, right? There's a lot of great content out here. There's a lot of people trying to help other people. Um, there's a great place to get connected and find people with like interest. Um, but a lot of what you see is fake news. Believe it or not, like there are people who are saying they do deals that don't actually do deals, right? You ask them uh, in private groups, uh, like how, how much, how many, how many deals did you do last year? And they they actually didn't do any, or they do very little volume, right? Or uh, there are people who are, are very positive on social media who are jerks to deal with in real life, right? It's fake news. Hey, Robert Smith, he's one of the great ones. Um, and here's how I want you to, I, I want to encourage you something. Like, there are people who have horrible days. You know how many of my, my horrible days I post on social media? You're right. I, I don't post horrible days on social media. So if you're not careful, you can be looking at somebody's social media and have a rosy a uh, wonderful, glamorous picture of real estate investing or business development. But the truth is this, like I have some absolutely horrible days, right? I deal with some absolutely horrible issues. Um, yeah, I'll tell you in, in a positive Facebook group that I own over a hundred properties and that's true. Um, my business provides safe and clean and affordable housing to over 200 families. That's true. But what I might not tell you is that I have a house with a hole in the floor right now, right? Or I have somebody who's living in a, a property that needs a water re mold remediation, right? And that's true too. The real, the reality is that if you can figure out how to sort through the fake news and use it to your advantage, you can build a better business. Yep, you can build a better business if you can find the folks who aren't just spewing fake news and find people that are actually in the business that you wanna be in. See, I, I kinda like the fact that I can tell you that, you know, I collect six figures a month in rent payments, but I can also tell you that that probably means that you're going to have, you know, 10% of people who are probably not going to pay their rent on time. You got to be able to find the folks who are not just spewing fake news. Find the folks that are actually in the business, that are doing the business, that are growing a business, and get attached to them. You can use fake news to your advantage, right? You can use somebody's happy days, somebody's great days to grow your business, to get motivated. But then I want you to figure out if you can dive deeper into that story and really build systems and processes that can grow your business. That's right. Like I'm trying to connect to people that are really in the trenches, doing deals, growing multi-million dollar businesses and portfolios. And you can do the same thing. Y'all have a great morning. Have a great week. Uh, don't just like consume everything you see. Dive deeper and figure out how to get connected to people who are actually doing deals. I should remind you tonight, we do a uh, meetup group. Monday nights at 6 p.m. Central. It's on Zoom. I just posted a link in this group. So if you are interested in real estate investing, you want to ask real questions about people that are really in the trenches doing deals, uh, I encourage you to come to that group tonight, 6 p.m. Central. Uh, don't just look at it. Grab the map. Have a great week.